How to set language fallback at website level. Let us check out this quickly. You can set up the uh, uh, website level fallback also. You can enable the language fallback for each relevant site. For that, you have a configuration file uh, that is set up in the website app config includes site code dot language dot fallback config. Here you will have you can use the two attributes enable item language fallback that will uh, enable the uh, item uh, language fallback for uh, item level language fallback for the corresponding site whereas you have an enable field level uh, language fallback so it will enable the field level language fallback for the selected website that can be done by this patch configuration where you can update the uh, two attributes the enable item language fallback and enable field language fallback as a true so that will make website level uh, fallback uh, enabled okay so you so that you can uh, work on the uh, language fallback so it is very important to set up the website level fallback uh, uh, so that you can have the uh, website level uh, fallback not website level fallback actually it is you are enabling the uh, item level fallback and enable the field language fallback for the website level okay so this this you should be doing it uh, in the uh, configuration file uh, website slash config slash into site code language fallback dot config basically you will create a patch file to override this uh, uh, file okay so this is how you will enable the item and the uh, field level fallback for complete details of Sitecore language fallback, please refer our YouTube video. Sitecore language fallback, ensuring consistent content with ease. Click link given on screen for same video.